Hey everybody, it's Braden again with Sketchy Questions. And today I've got a question. When I draw something new to an existing shape, I usually have to measure from the shape out to nothing. Just a certain distance out in a certain direction. And the measuring tool doesn't seem to work. I had to draw lines and delete them later. How could I make the measuring tool draw construction guidelines in such situations? That's a good question again. So, uh, basically what he's talking about is, you know, say I've got my shape that I just got rid of. If I have a shape that hopefully this works. And, you know, maybe I want to start drawing another box that's uh, two feet away. How am I going to know exactly how far away. So what he's his workaround that he found was to just draw a line, make it two feet long, and then start uh, with the other shape, finish it off, and come back later and clean everything up so that you don't have these extra lines. And, you know, that is a way to do it, but he's wanting to use the uh, guidelines in SketchUp, which is not a bad idea at all. So, to do those, you need to use the tape measuring tool. And you'll see what he's trying to do is similar to his line workaround, is start here, measure out to two feet, and then get some form of reference so that you can start drawing your next shape and you'll see there it let me zoom in on it it puts a little uh, construction dot or uh, you know, something like that I've forgotten the exact term right now but he's wanting these guidelines so let's show him how to do that with the tape measure tool instead of starting on an end point start anywhere where it doesn't snap to an inference, like not the midpoint and not the end points. So anywhere else, like on edge. Click your mouse there once, start dragging over in the direction you want, and we'll make it two feet again. You see now I've got my construction line there, and I can base my geometry on that. Like if I want another one so that I know my box is three feet wide, there we go. If I want one to make sure that it's a three feet deep, there we go. So now I've set up, maybe I need one on the axis, I'm not sure. Let's try it now. So there you go, super accurate way to get some... Uh, some guidelines so you can draw some geometry.